Uh, no, read the script. Creative. Uh, <laughs> read, call, read the script. Read the script. Creative wiggle room mm -hmm. is what I'm going to call it. Mm -hmm. Good family, I'm King Nates, Bud and Hill, and this is another episode of What We Drinking. And now, family, listen, we listen, we read the comments, we understand that hey, when we put out something, we want to get feedback, and we have heard your words. So, we have brought to this episode, I say it's almost kind of like a part two of bringing it back from our orphan barrel review of the copper tongue. Point one, yeah. Like a point yeah. one to where we said, hey, somebody said, let's talk about this dickle. So we're gonna get into this comparison. So dickle 15. So we already know about the copper tongue fam. If you wanna know about more about the copper tongue, please check out our last episode review that we did. You see that little information icon just popped up. Check it out after this episode. But here, what are we talking about with this dickle 15 year? What are we talking about? Mash bill wise. What are we looking to try to see for this particular bottle? Dickle 15, age 15 years, as you mentioned, $60 MSRP, pretty readily available from what I gather. Um, and this is Mr. Cole Austin, again, uh, the real MVP. She is. She's got the Bob and Bond, which is a 13 year. Yep. She's got the Dickle 15, and she's got the Copper Tongue, which you've already reviewed. Um, Mashville, it's 84% corn. 8% uh, rye, 8% malted yep. barley. We are not regular ever, if you've been watching us. We like to always put our twist on and our spin on different things. So we wanted to do a real comparison. And the only way that we could truly do a real comparison was by doing a blind pour. So who better in our squad to do the blind pour than other than our bloodhound blind blood. with the bloodhound. You know what I'm saying? Good. So Bud has never had the dick. He's had the copper tongue as you already know, but never the dickle. Right. So it will be up to him to have an unbiased opinion as to what he has chosen. Now, for those who feel like, well, damn, if he's already had the copper tongue, then he already gonna know what that is and then maybe not like it. That's very untrue. Yes. We've already Seven done a- Seven ago. We've done a prelim test, and we we're, we're pretty 99% confident Whatever he decides will be the utmost truth. And I'll throw you a little tag around at the end of the episode. Stay with us, and I'll let you know what I mean by that. So, Bud, regale us with your palates, with your nose, and let us know what you're picking. All right, I'm going with number one first. Nice color. Another reason why we kind of wanted, as Bud knows it, we wanted to run it as a blind. Let you folks know, you might be able to save a few, you know, nickels, pennies. Um, Facts. We've got a 16 and a 15 year. Because one is significantly more food, expensive, almost double. In price. Because right? Right? I think, what, we paid, what, 140 yeah. We found some people who say they found it for cheaper, under 100 bucks. God bless you, please buy a bottle, send them away. This one, $60. Yeah. So if we're saying that if it's possible that the dick is you know, tastes better, higher has a, you know, higher proof than a, why spend the money? Why spend all this money, you know, 140 in our area, when you could just go grab this for 60 bucks? I mean, that was close. I'll yeah, still spend money. I actually, I, I like it. You, 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 it is good. 140 is high, but. Oh God, is it? Like I said, that coffee like is so good. Oh, I love it. All right, I'm going in. All, all right. right. on one. As I said, I get more fruit notes out the nose and more wood out of that one. All right, so you get some, get more of the barrel from number two, more front fruit from number one. Okay. Save your notes. We're gonna do the notes, but I want you to okay. taste them, and then we're gonna give you a decision. Loud yeah. chew right there. Mm -hmm. yeah, just yeah, let that was that was to annoy you. Mm -hmm. <laughs> <laughs> If you've seen our prior that was That was for me being previously blamed for. They, they always tend to hate on how I get down with, you know, sipping my spirits. Okay, I like to enjoy 
what I'm tasting, you know. I know there's others out there that agree with me. Let me know if you agree with me, family. You got to chew your food, you know. So, bud, you tasted them. You had some time to let it sit on there, swirl around your mouth. Get a little bit of that finish on the palate. What you feeling, man? What's your leaning? What's your taste buds leaning to? One, two, one, two. What we talking about? This one lasts longer. I can still, still feel it. More of a hug. It's just a lingering spice. It's just sitting on my tongue. Okay. okay. But what would you pick, though? The fans want to know. I'm going to go with one. Number one? Yeah. You picking one? Yeah. Slide right. the bottle forward. All right, well, family. That is none other than the Copper Tongue. Awesome. So the Copper Tongue has beaten out the Bloodhound has chosen. The, the, now, why number one? Let's let's it's, let's be clear. Why number one? Now we're talking about a high proof for the deckle. Well, let's the, give the it proof right. is only they, they, they roughly the same. It's it's let's ninety see. and eighty eight. Yeah, that's true. So you're looking at and one more year in the barrel for right. the top. Right. Top. And as you said, how you coined it? These are two teenagers. teenagers. It's the battle yeah. of the teenagers. Well, how did it fare in terms of? Cause did we actually give the notes of both palate on your palate for both? Well, this one I. I got a lot more fruit. Okay. Right. And sweet smells out of it. And um, we let these sit in the glass for a little bit longer, yeah. folks. Um, because I I've actually been watching some shows. And some of our uh, comments um were you know kind of alluded to the dickel funk. I I don't get it, but of course you know I'm nose blind, so I wanted to see if you know that was there or you know we got something like that. I do get the fruity smell. Oh, yeah. Wait, this Did is you, like, you know how that goes. We talked about this. Try that dick. Uh, smell that. Tell me if you don't get a lot of wood out of that. So I mean, it's also oh. because it's a single barrel. Absolutely. So that's where you're going to get all that. And it barrel. could vary. So that's the other thing. We might have a yeah. different. Well, we'll have this a different is the, this is the lowest have, one. Yeah, this is the barrel. lowest one out of them all. As you know, single barrels are hit or miss sometimes. Right. Yeah, they got different bags and different, different proofs. Yeah, but I would definitely say you always, to me, I think you can always tell. If I'm drinking. If I go out and I'm drinking not, and I run across the copper tongue, I feel like I can always pick it up. And the reason why is because that initial fruit note always hits me right on the tip of the tongue, followed by a very short, light finish. And I that I just enjoy that. So that I, is a drink I like drinking. I got this same... I definitely do get the whatever it is. They, they mm -hmm. folks um, talk about the Fruity Pebble, Flintstone Vitamins, mm -hmm. uh, Sweet tart, whatever you your palate like, whatever descriptor you want to use, that's the dickel um, profile. I, I do get it. I don't get it as much. So that I have dickel in this glass, the copper tongue in this one. Um, but I get it from this one. Now the white label, which is the uh, the select that was a nine year, I think you were yeah. talking about. Um, I've had that one as well. In a similar bottle, so it's yeah. a little shorter stuff than yeah. I okay. definitely get, like that's heavy, heavy. Now, Flintstone vitamin. Hill, this is, is this your first time? Now we wanted to run, we want we know we wanted to run Bud through the blind. Is this your first time being with, tasting the Dickel 15? Have you had it prior? I tasted right before the show. Um, so, this is the funny thing for me. I feel like his spirits changed a little no, bit. No, no. I, <laughs> I like Dickel. Um, last episode, you know, I kind of mentioned that folks seem to be hated or loved Dickel. But I think some of that stems from what we talked about with Jack Daniels. A lot of people say with Jack Daniels, oh, I had the black label, what is it, seven number, or whatever. Number seven. And yeah. then from there, they could never get off of that. Right. With the Dickel, I think it's the same way. Like what I've tasted before in comparison to the Copper Tongue and this, it's different, like different levels. It's aged longer. You get, you know, different tastes. I would recommend people kind of go into it open-minded and try this. Now, this one's good. For the price, it is good. Very good. And the difference is you're going from, as we said earlier, a single barrel to a blended of 16. So... The profile is definitely going to be different. She was mm -hmm. going for something with this. This is just straight out of the barrel. So, I so will, she may have been going for that easier, uh, smoother, fruitier taste. Could be. And that just, being a single barrel, normally you would want a single barrel to come out at cast strength. 
you, so you can get all the flavor from the girls. So, but they proofed it down a little bit on this. So can I say something kind of crazy? And this is just me, right? So I've had both of these. I've tasted them before we did our did our episode, and it's and I really did this. I wanted to taste them both at the same time to see if I could feel it, taste the difference, right? And I had the dickle first. Then I went to the copper tongue, and I immediately loved the copper tongue. When I tasted the dickle, immediately, family, you know, I just got an upfront hit of, you know, just a kind of like a spice right on my tongue, and then that finish kind of way it just sat with me. But let me, let, but let me change up something. So now in this particular, for what we just did, I had the copper tongue first, then went to the dickle. It, it, and I don't know if it's crazy, but. It made the Dickle 15 lighter on the tongue. So as I sipped it as my second second taste, that's, that's it, it actually made, and I tasted more of what, like what he was saying, the Dickle, the kind of like that, that natural Dickle. I felt, I tasted profile. the sweeter profile. And now I know some people, well, maybe you still got the copper tongue on your tongue, but yes, that could be a possibility. But, all but it so. wasn't that upfront kind of aggressiveness. To where I, it made me like the Dickel 15, not more than this, but enjoyable to drink. Okay. So it, it's not bad. You're getting a 15 year old single barrel for sixty dollars if you get an MSRP. 15 year old whiskey. Yeah, you can go so to the where, where you going? ABC where stores you going wrong with that? For MSRP. You're not going wrong anyway with that. No, and it's good. It's just as I say, this one just has just a different mouthfeel and the. I got a whole lot more barrel spice on this. So we made a comparison, or we made a uh, comparison earlier to where we felt why we felt Dickel might be getting such a bad rap as of late. Um, and I think we talked about how it seems like in the earlier years of Dickel, no one loved them. Just, just, just something was just wrong with them. And we kind of compared it to like how the Hondas used to be back in the day. Nobody wanted to buy a Honda. But it seems like they rebranded, and now everybody loves the Honda. Everybody loves the Genesis, the Echoes. Like their brand has really bounced back to become, you know, and and to compare with the other leagues like the Benz is that are in that market. I think Diggle has done that with what they've released as of late over the years. I'm cool with folks hating on it because it makes well, it, it makes it readily available exactly. for my bop. <laughs> yeah. yeah. I so mean, it's it's good. I really like the the thirteen thousand bomb. I've been, oh, yeah. I've been through a couple of those. Yeah. So nice. Yeah. Nicole Austin I mean, is killing the game right now. Um, I, but in terms of just comparing it, right? Mm -hmm. So he chose the copper tongue, but what we want to say is both of these Good. pretty much a winner. If you can get this for MSRP, buy it. Really winning. Uh, of course, this is easier to find at sixty bucks. You're getting a fifteen year. Um, you can't go wrong with that. Uh, like. We had said before, I had said before, uh, this the, the, the bottle is it's a dope bottle. It is. Oh, the yeah. snake, you know, it, it reminds me of an uh, uh, old 80s, uh, you know, rock band. Cobra Cabin. <laughs> oh, Cobra. So when I'm listening to it, we, we're talking about, uh, I mean, when I'm drinking this, what I'm listening to, mm -hmm. I think Jimmy, or, I mean, y'all might not mess with them, but uh, Pearl Jam, because it doesn't have to be super duper metal, because it's it's lower ABV. If right. it was higher ABV, I might throw in some Metallica or ACDC <laughs> or something like that. Well, I, yeah, definitely our, our taste buds and our actual uh, music palettes are different. Because so, I mean, the funny thing is, when you brought up the rock band, I was thinking, you, I was honestly thinking Pearl Jam. Really? Yeah. No, yeah. not listen to some Jeremy or some uh, no. Alive or some uh, Daughters. I mean, I could run. I, I just yeah, yeah. If they, he's, he's a little more yeah, eclectic in his little, in his music. Not a little bit more Lincoln so which, Park. Which little, little, little bit more Lincoln Park for me. Oh, you, can do that. you know, in the that end, works. you know, I think that's kind of where I've been leaning. I might even have to put some God smack on there. You know what I'm saying? Because it's uh, it, this is damn good. Like the orphan barrel copper tongue is damn good, but I'm not shining off the dickle. Like nah. it's for the price that I would pay, yeah, it's it's worth it. You'll be you won't get that from me. I know everybody don't say the same thing. You don't get the peach flavor that I get from the copper tongue. But honestly, for the amount of money that we had to pay to get this, citrus, I would I buy like this. Note. Yeah, I would buy this and feel like I'm good. Yep, this is worth my price. I yeah. can get two bottles. And still be under the value of what we pay here for that, this, yeah. and that's a value to me. Yeah, this goes in my bar. I think I give this. I bring this to the cookout. 
I think people have some fun with this one. Okay. I think cats have fun with that one at the cookout. I'm with that. One. I would like. I wouldn't doubt on this one because of the ABV. I want to taste the one in the 104. I want to taste the high proof. Oh. And see, see, see what the difference is. If we can find that and do a, do a comparison of these, that'll be pretty fun. All right, come back, folks. We might, not have, we might have another review. Absolutely. So, fam, hey, this is our comparison review. Shout out to our fans who gave us this great episode, man. We had a lot of fun shooting it, a lot of fun drinking it. Absolutely. Let us know what you think. Hey, get the bottles. Tell us what your comparison is. What do you feel? We want to hear from you. We always love to communicate with our fans. Hey, what's next up on the list? You got something else you want us to review? Let us know in the comments. If you like, share, and subscribe, that lets us know that what we're doing is working for you all. As always, family, I'm King Napes, Bud and Hill, and this has been another episode of What We Drink. And as always, family, please drink responsibly, but more importantly, just drink.